just got back from a local Canadian bookstore, and you guys will never believe. Like, I just found one of the weirdest things regarding collectible minifigures. It all started when I walked into this Chapters. For those that don't know, Chapters is a bookstore like Barnes & Noble in Canada. So, when I initially walked into this Chapters, a Barnes & Noble of Canada, originally everything looked, nothing looked out of the ordinary. They just had three full boxes of Lego minifigures on their table. Nothing looked out of the ordinary. There was a Series 12 box. There was also a Series 13 box. You know, which makes sense because those are two of the most recent LEGO minifigure series. But the thing that really caught my eye, that struck me as suspicious, was that there was a whole box of Series 4 LEGO minifigures for sale. Considering the LEGO minifigure line is on Series 13, with of course the LEGO movie and the Simpsons minifigures in there, Finding Series 4 was what I thought was an incredibly good find. I was happy to find some Series 4 minifigures because in the earlier series when I wasn't really into collecting them, I missed out on some really good minifigures and was really excited to be able to finally get them. Another thing I was really excited about was the fact that these minifigures are only $2.95 a figure instead of $3.99. But finding a bunch of Series 4 LEGO minifigures for sale wasn't the weirdest part of this whole trip. The real weirdest part was the fact that underneath every single box of completely full minifigures was a minifigure checklist. You know, at first, I just thought Chapters put the minifigure checklist there to help kids know what minifigures were in the series. But then when I looked closer at each minifigures, I noticed that each minifigure pack had a number on it. I found out that the number written in Sharpie marker on each minifigure pack represented the number of that minifigure that could be found in the series. Yes, that's right. Somebody had gone through every single CMF box and had labeled which minifigure was in which blind bag. It was amazing. Every single minifigure that I bought had a number of a minifigure on it, and I loved it. I didn't have to feel a single bag. I knew exactly what minifigure I was getting. There was no chance that I was going to get duplicates, and it was just awesome. It saved me time. It saved me... It just it saved me you know, the struggle of having to feel all these packages because somebody had done it for me and I was thrilled. I only bought eight minifigures here at this chapters just because there was only eight that I really wanted out of all these series. You know, four I bought three from series 13 and one from series 12 and four from series 4. The minifigures I purchased won't complete my series in any way. It's just the fact that I'm not collecting every single minifigure anymore, only my favorites. And with the numbers on each minifigure bag, I was finally able to choose the minifigures that I wanted and the minifigures that I didn't want. I love the fact that they did this at this chapters because instead of having to get a bunch of like crappy figures that I don't even want and spending all that money for them, I was able to get the figures that I really want and that I really wanted. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this chapter for labeling every minifigure. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to comment your opinion down below. If you want to see more LEGO related videos, don't forget to check out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Have a great day.